Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you how to do a crew punch hole. To make this hole, you use it for dog collars, belts, etc. Now, not everybody's got the money to spend in all these individual sizes. And the, the, that's a crew punch. Uh, I think they're about probably £40 a piece these days. But you need uh, oh, I don't know, about 10 different sizes from uh, small up to big. Now, it's a hell of a cost for you to, if you're setting out. I know most of you are going to have uh, these things, uh, revolving punches. I personally don't use them, they're a bit slow for me. You know, I prefer to use uh, all these different sizes here, you know, the little round punches and things. Um, yeah, it's uh, down to tiny or whatever. But this is, this is perfectly adequate for what you're going to do. So, I'm going to show you how to do this using this and uh, a knife. It doesn't have to be a round knife, it can be any knife at all, you know, it could be any straight knife, yeah? But the only thing you need to know is what sort of distance and how wide you do it. So, the wider you are, you set these, uh, you know, the wider, you know, you don't need the little narrow one. Uh, I don't know what size this is I'm going to use today, but uh, that's it. Uh, and then the other thing is a set of compasses for the distance. Now, I know this is 7 8 so, uh, you know, from that end to that end. So, I'm going to put do two dots, uh, just straight in the middle there. That's it, that's my two dots. They're about 7 8 apart. Again, as always with this, uh, I never know if it's showing up in the video, but I'm sure it is. So I've got my two dots on it. Uh, now, one of the things about using a, a, a revolving punch is that um, I've done an earlier video on this. If you just simply press through, I'll do this quickly for you. God, I hate this tool. Uh, if you simply press through, what it does is it tends to leave the bit inside and then you have to press down and then turn and turn and turn. And what that's doing is it's blunting your knives on the, on these round punch things here. So it's blunting them all the time. So the proper way of using this is, and I'll punch it on this and hopefully it works. Just set them up. As I say, I don't like this tool. It's, too, it's a bit too slow for me. It's to get a piece of leather and put it behind the thing that you're doing. Now, it doesn't have to be solid leather, this. It can be thin leather. Uh, and then, uh, once that's behind, Get your revolving punch into your hole here. And then as you punch through, it takes it goes straight through into the other one. And uh, you know it takes a piece out on it. The other thing it's doing is it hits that leather, at least it's not blunting this here. Uh, once these are blunt, the, they can be sharpened, but it's a bit of a pain in the neck here. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think they're fairly cheap to do. And again, I'm just going to set my leather up behind this one. I'm going to get this uh, revolving punch on here. That caught a round punch earlier, there you go. And, and through it goes. So that's me got my two, two holes for making my crew punch. Yeah, I've already dug into this as we're using it for a piece of scrap. The next thing you've got to do is you need two straight lines. I don't draw, I don't think you need to draw two straight lines on. But if you wanted, you could simply put that down, lean it, line it up against uh, your two dots there. Um, let me just zoom this in a wee tiny bit. Zoom it in, hang on. So you've got your two dots there. So you can put something up and then do a, a straight line there, yeah? And then that tells you that uh, you, you know, where to cut if you like, yeah? I, I don't think you have to do that. Um, all you need to do, is move all this stuff out of my way, is get your knife, as I say, it doesn't have to be a round punch. And it, just get it tight. I probably need a little pointer for this. You want it tight, into the, tight right up to the edge over here. Yeah, so if I just, let's see if we get that in now in your camera. So if I was putting that in there, I'm probably actually going to cut away back here and to the to the side a bit. Yeah, there you are. So right over to the side. So get that, dig it in, aim for the other one. So say so you can use this with a straight knife. That's that one onto the other side. Flip it round. And then just cut down there. Same for that one. Now this isn't obviously going to be as nice as using the proper tools. Uh, and there we go. And that's a crew punch uh, for... Where are we? There's your other one. It's a crew punch. 
you know, for doing buckles and stuff. So again, you would just thin it through, uh, turn it around, your buckle tongue would come out here. So I'll just go over that quick because it is a quite a short little video. All you need to do is set out the distance that you want it. And as I am for this video to line up, there you go. Put two dots in. Get a piece of scrap. Punch two holes. Now you can do all sorts, so you can make this smaller or bigger or whatever like, yeah. I was just going to make this smaller, but as I say, these things I don't like, they've turned around on me, so. Uh, that's that one. And again, just on there. There it goes. Flip it round. Cut up from one side. And the beauty about doing this method is that you can, uh, you know, you can make it wider or smaller, you know, longer, shorter, whatever, like, yeah. I'm going to do a video in a bit, uh, how to use this round knife, yeah. I, I think knife, round knife, once you learn how to use it, is an absolute fantastic tool. But, uh, there we go. Pop the piece out the middle, and there we have it. It's a slightly longer crew punch, yeah. So that's how to make a crew punch hole uh, using uh, a round punch, or in this case, a revolving punch. I uh, hope that helps some of you guys out there. Bye.